I'm back with two new sunscreens. Let's see which one is good for my oily skin. Hello my friends, Jetrin is here. It has been a moment since I've talked about any new sunscreens here on my channel. And finally, we have two new ones from my fair brand, Bioma and Vacation Inc. So let's talk about it. Now disclaimer, this video is not a comparison video like my other sunscreens video in the past, only because one is in a lotion form and the other one is in a spray form. So you really can't compare them between the two in my opinion. Although I did wear them side by side in the demo video, I really just wanted to do both of the reviews in one single video instead of making two. Does that make sense? Anyways, with that being said, let's dive into the first one from Bioma. This here is the Moisturizing Gel Sunscreen. It does retail for $18.99 and it does contain 50 ml or 1.69 fluid ounce. Now about two weeks ago, I did record a dedicated video to Bioma Skincare, trying some old and new products from them. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it here. I have been seeing a lot of small influencer receiving this in PR or even being sponsored by them and I just knew I had to try it out because I don't know if they're telling the truth if it's really that good even though it's hydrating is it good for oily skin people so I had to try it. Bioma described this to be a lightweight deeply hydrating non-greasy gel to cream daily moisturizer with SPF 30. The formula offer broad spectrum protection from UVAs and UVBs instantly absorbing into the skin leaving a glowing radiant finish with zero white cast. It features hyaluronic acid and beta glucan that help pump up the skin hydration along with tricinamide complex that helps protect the skin barrier which Bioma is known for. Here are some of the claims it is vegan and cruelty free alcohol and fragrance free dermatologist tested and approved and it's made with a recyclable bottle with a reusable pump also there is a refill coming very soon so when you run out of the sunscreen you can just buy a refill to help save the planet one bottle at a time when it comes to packaging it looks like their other packaging that they do offer from bioma i do love the high quality plastic can you hear it so nice it does come with a pump so it's very sanitary and this has no scent to it so if you are sensitive to fragrance or you don't like any fragrance the sunscreen is good for you moving on to the next sunscreen this here is from vacation inc and this is called the super spritz spf 50 face mist it does retail for 24 dollars usd and it comes with 2.2 fluid ounce or 65 ml can we just appreciate the packaging i'm telling you vacation inc they always kill it with the packaging it looks like something from the 80s right just the design the color i mean the blue the white and the pink magenta nozzle totally 80s for sure i freaking love it vacation described this to be a premium face mist sunscreen designed to be used daily under and over makeup giving an instantaneously clean lightweight refreshment and protection as you go about your day here are some of the claims it is vegan and cruelty free peg and paraben free dermatologist tested water resistant up to 80 minutes hawaiian reef compliance and also the packaging is travel friendly made from recyclable material here's some key feature ingredients in the sunscreens it does contain bisabola which is made from chamomile aloe cucumber banana coconut shea oil maracuja oil caffeine green tea vitamin e feluca acid and algae so a lot of yummy ingredients in the sunscreen when it comes to scent wise it definitely smells like their classic lotion that i have here again it smells like banana coconutty pina colada a little bit so if you're not into that you may not be into this sunscreen so with all the information out of the way let's go ahead and test out these two sunscreens side by side in the demo now. We're up close in person again and I'm gonna apply the Bioma on my right side and for my left the Vacation Ink. Let's do it. Start with the right side. So there we have it the Bioma on my right side and as you can see it does give like a healthy sheen glow to it. I wouldn't say it's like overly dewy. The texture is amazing. It does feel like a gel form. It sinks into the skin and it really doesn't leave any sticky, tacky, or greasy feeling. It just feels really hydrated onto the face. So I really like it. Also, there is no white cast. So it's definitely great for people with medium to darker skin tone. Now going in with the vacation on my left side. I'm going to cover my other half with a paper. So here we go. <laughs> mm. 
So there we have it, the Vacation Ink on my left side. And as you can see, it definitely looks a bit more glowy than the Bioma. In terms of texture, it doesn't feel like anything. It does sink in. But I will say it kind of almost feels like a drawing oil, if anything, because I don't know if you can see it, but it leaves some sort of like sheen. By the way, when you do spray this, make sure you do close your eyes. I felt like my eyes were almost tearing up. <laughs> I don't know if I was spraying too close, but yeah just make sure you close your eyes again the sunscreen does have a scent to it it smells exactly like their sunblock and perfume so if you're sensitive to fragrance this may not be for you it's been about 10 minutes since i sprayed my face and i can honestly tell you like i still smell it i do wonder if this is going to linger throughout the day so only time will tell before i go usually i powder my face with some sort of translucent powder but because these two sunscreens seem pretty lightweight I'm not gonna do that. I am going to wear this for maybe six hours. It is what, 2.15 right now? But yeah, I'll come back and give you guys an update. All right, so I'm back now and currently it is 10.20 p.m. I have worn these two sunscreens for about eight hours or so. And yeah, this is what my face looks like. What do you guys think? Now looking in the viewfinder and even in the mirror, I have to be quite honest, I really don't think I look that overly dewy, glowy, greasy or oily which is kind of shocking because y'all know i have tested out a lot of sunscreens in the past year and all of them mostly all of them have made me look very greasy so for this to look pretty good for eight hours i'm very impressed in terms of how it feels it really just it feels like nothing it feels like I have nothing on my skin, which is so good for oily skin. Obviously, there are some shine here on the apple of my cheeks and on my nose area. That is completely normal. But for the most part, I look really decent and I feel pretty matte for what it is. So I like these too. Oh yeah, and if you're curious about the Vacation Ink scent, it did disappear within about two hours or so. Um, it did take a little bit longer than I would have hoped because usually with any scented product, most kind of disappear within like 10 minutes. Now just for fun, I'm gonna blot my face really quick just so you can see which one is more oily. So I only blot the nose and cheek area and this is what it looks like and to be honest, they really don't look that bad. Like I'm pretty surprised. Usually whenever I blot my face, it's like filled with all the grease and oil. So that really says a lot about these two sunscreens in general. Anyways, I'm gonna scoop back and give you guys my final thoughts on which sunscreen is good and which one you should buy or not. All right, so I'm scooped back now. And between these two sunscreen, I was very surprised at how both of them wore for my oily skin. And if I only had to pick one, I think I would just go with the Bioma. So the promotion for the sunscreen here was not lying. It really does do what it claims. I love the formulation. It's sinks in it's lightweight still hydrating but not overly too hydrating where i look like a grease ball and for eight hours this definitely wore really nicely on my face i really like this i really do think it's good for all skin types for sure now the only con i would give this is that i wish it was an spf 50 and not 30. in today's world spf 30 is just not cutting it we're exposed to pollution global warming harmful UVAs. I just feel like SPF 30 is just not enough. Now I do understand it is harder to formulate and get regulations for a sunscreen to be SPF 50. It does cost more money and time. You know, with that being said, I guess I'm happy that it is at least SPF 30. Oh yeah, and I quickly want to compare it to the moisturizing gel cream. I would say this texture and formulation is a little bit more dewy. So if you do have normal to dry skin, you might like this. For me, I just look like a greasy mess with this but the sunscreen this one I love it definitely so good for all skin types so go get yourself one and when it comes to vacation ink I freaking love this brand I love the whole theming I do think their products are so nostalgic and fun the design so cute but this product here I would say it's okay I don't hate it but I don't love it enough to repurchase it for me the number one con is probably cost per wear 2.2 fluid ounce for $24 you're gonna go through this so freaking quick 
I think it's going to add up very fast. So cost per wear, it's not there for sure. The second con for the sunscreen is the alcohol being the first ingredient. In the demo video, when I sprayed it to my face, y'all, I was coughing. Y'all saw me. I was coughing. And to be honest, I do think it kind of stinged my eye a little bit because the mixture of alcohol and the fragrance in here. If you do buy this, make sure you hold your breath, close your eyes, and hope for the best. <laughs> Lastly, this product is fun, the novelty is there, but it should not replace your everyday sunscreen. And yes, I get the application is so easier because it's in a spray form. However, study have shown it's better to apply some sort of lotion sunscreen because it just covers your face more to protect it from the harmful UVAs. So in my opinion, it's only good to use this as a reapplication throughout the day um, and not a main form of your everyday sunscreen. So there you have it guys those are the two new sunscreen from bioma and vacation ink and i really do like both of them however in this case i would pick the bioma cost per wear is way cheaper than the vacation ink um, don't get me wrong i still like this it's a fun novelty item however it's a little expensive for what you are paying but yeah let me know in the comments down below which one are you willing to try but with that being said you do you boo and of course i will talk to you guys soon in the next have a great one bye